Hello and welcome to a brand new series and we are going to be playing with the Imperium Universalis mod uh, which among other things basically turns the clock back to 559 BC or BCE whatever you prefer to use. Um, so yeah it does say 195 ab urbe condita uh, and that is because times in EU4 can't go into the negatives so this is 195 years since the foundation of Rome and uh, well I mean it's the first game we'll be playing using this mod so I think Rome is gonna be the, the logical starting position so yeah we're gonna be playing as Rome and we are um, during the Roman Kingdom era so we're not even at the Republic so yeah, perfect. We're going to be playing in normal mode. And uh, with this being the first episode in a brand new series, uh, likes and comments and all that shit does mean a lot more than they usually do. Uh, you know, just get the get the word out there and, and all that good stuff. So um, this is version 1.3.1, I believe. So um, yeah, this is, uh, this is going to be fun. We've got um, with the this mod basically unlike uh mayo and taxes we're actually using the mission system and there's uh there's actually quite a few missions for uh rome there are there's quite a few countries that do have extended missions like i think athens is another one sparta unfortunately isn't i was considering doing a sparta mission uh campaign carthage is another good choice but yeah, i think rome for now will be the best choice for us so let's get right into it first off We've got four people making us their enemy. Latium, Veia, Sabini, Capua. There's Capua. Um, if we have a look again. Capua, yeah, we've seen you. Where is Sabini? Sabini, where are you? There's Sabini. They're actually quite large. And then we've got um, Latium. Latium is who now? Well, there's Veia. Found you. Uh, Latium. Fuck knows. Hang on. Latium. Oh, literally the guy right next to us. Of course. Uh, so I'm thinking Latium, Veia. Definitely two really good choices. And holy crap, there's a lot we can choose from. Alright, where's Latium? There you are. And Veia. Get the bottom. There we go. And we can only choose two rivals, which is interesting. I don't know if that's a mod change or or what, basically. Um, I'm completely clueless. Um, I have played this a little bit, but not in any great depth. Just basically to see that the game runs well, um, that it would be good for a series. But yeah, I haven't really done a whole lot. Start with some light ships and some transports. Immediately I'm going to get those guys to protect trade in... Uh, I guess this is the trade node we're collecting in. We're collecting in the Northern Med as well, though. Western Med is... Uh, that's the Northern Med. And here's the Western Med. We have a merchant collecting in the Western Med. That doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Seems like we basically want to be controlling the central, central, ah, central Mediterranean Sea. That's what we're going to be aiming for. Um, I guess for now, Northern Med. We have more power there, so why not? One thing um, this mod does really nicely is these citizen soldiers, and um, it costs you corruption to raise them. When you raise them, they start with only a hundred men, and obviously you'll you'll grow with manpower and shit. Uh, but these guys have plus ten percent discipline, so they're really fucking good. Um, how much money do we make? Fuck all. Um, so, we've got you and you. Do we start with any claims or cores? No. I think the first thing we need to do is find some allies. Where's the, where's the diplomacy? Oh, interesting. It's using the estates button for diplomacy. Okay, fair enough. Alliances. Um, I'm thinking Peglin Pe Peligni? Piligni, you look like a good ally to me. Uh, let's bump it up to speed four. And we'll see who else wants to be our ally. Velch, maybe. Marcy, also, maybe. 
And where is Serity? These guys? Nah, fuck those guys. Uh, let's choose the Velch. I don't think any of these are going to be long-term alliances. So, whatever. And yeah, let's start getting a spy network built up. Actually, do I need to? Because we have a lovely CB here called Border Conquest. And uh, we can't declare war until the 31st of March, so really soon. I think that would be a good idea. Do we have a leader? No. Um, patricians and pontifices. You would give me a general. You need more influence, though. Only five more influence. And appointing an advisor would do exactly that. That would also work, though. I gain some money. It, it's actually a pitiful amount of money. I don't care about that money. And, yeah, we'll appoint a general 40 tradition, which is more than our current 12.8. So, appoint a general, and let's hope it's good. Oh, it's, it's, uh... Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. 6331? Fuck yes. Um, I have heard, though I haven't seen yet, that generals can be higher than 6 pips. I'm not sure what the maximum is, but it's more than 6. Right. If I was to attack you, you have, you have no allies. So hopefully that stays the same until the 31st. Then I'll just be able to easily kill you and eat you and all that good stuff. Uh, Religion-wise, there's a, a lot of Olympoi where we are. These Hellenic Rites. I don't know what Hellenic Rites are. But yeah, there's lots of Etruscan, and I believe that's what we are as well. No, we're Latin. No, that's cult. I'm looking at culture. Fuck. Decon... Consentes. Alright, there's a lot of decontent... Whatever that fucking word is. Um, there's a lot of that. And that's what we are. Religion-wise... Lovely little button here. And we've got Hellenic Rites. Looks a bit like the... Uh, the lovely thing from the Islamic expansion, Cradle of Civilization. Um, so I would need to own... No, I'd need... Any own province needs to be one of those... Um, those cultures. They look like cultures. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. We'll, uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Alright, you still have no allies? No, you don't. Oh, you're so boned, son. We could show superiority. That gives us 110 aggressive expansion. But we can't conquest, so fuck that. 125 um, aggressive expansion for uh, border conquest. What does the, the shield and the four mean? I have no idea. But we're going to take your, your province, so kindly get fucked. Um, it's hills, but we do have a sick-as-fuck general. He's gonna get a general as soon as we unpause. Right? No, he's not. Uh, I guess we're gonna go and murder you then. We have 5% advantage in discipline, despotic monarchy. And uh, we don't out, uh, morale them, but we do... Oh wow, we're actually getting crushed in the tactics phase. Tactics, current value is 0.78. That says 0.5. What even the fuck is going on here? Whatever, we won. So we need four units to actually siege this. So I'm gonna have to spend some money to get some more troops. Uh, we can go up to a force limit of eight. So let's grab that and skirmishers. Skirmishers are archers, slingers, and spear throwers. They're effective when fighting from behind. Okay, that's cool. So no, um, no can uh, catapults, but we do have skirmishers. That's pretty cool. Our traders refuse to learn new languages. We don't know if they're conceited or just stupid. This situation is a great loss of prestige for us, and if we don't learn, uh, if we don't learn them to communicate with other people, if we don't learn them to, com okay, we could also replace them with new willing merchants who speak other languages. So trade efficiency in diplo rep or twenty diplo points. Uh, ooh. diplo rep's gonna hurt if I'm taking one hundred and twenty-five percent aggressive expansion things here. Um. You have a lot of allies. You have a lot of allies. Wow, okay, so 
This is like the only easy war that we're gonna have. You're allied with Sabini, which is this guy. He's pretty big. Right, but uh, my leader? Oh wow, look at this. So my leader is a 444, that's great. Look, he's got four uh, things already. He's getting another one in four years. That's that's pretty cool. Land leader maneuver plus two. Holy shit. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Like I said, I haven't played a whole lot of this mod yet, so I'm I'm learning. So bear with me. I do love that they've managed to put the models in. That that's really nice and flavorful. Like, where did they get these from? Is this from EU Rome? That they've just ported the models in. I didn't even know it was possible to port in models from the other games. And... Oh, what? How? What? Sabini? Oh, you, you fucking hired some troops from Sabini. That's a dick move. Um, right, we're getting one more unit, which is good. I mean, I think you've got no leader, so you hired out an army with no leader. Good luck, son. That's not gonna work out for you. Meanwhile, we'll just siege. Yeah, there's no there's no siege modifier here. Sorry, no artillery modifier. Um, although it does say I've got zero cavalry, and that is actually true. Where the fuck did my citizen soldiers go? Did you just murder the citizen soldiers outright? That's that's kind of a dick move as well. Let's cancel and see if we'll get more if we take this province. All right. Um, how about we? Improve relations with allies and neighboring countries. Imagine if we're taking this much aggressive expansion just to take one province. Uh, that's going to come in handy. Another thing that this mod does is removes development because development is shit. And instead, that's 233, not bad. And instead, we have population. Just like Mayo and Texas, but a little bit different. So, upper class, we've got commoners, and we've got tribals. And then total population there. I love this. I love that there is no... There's no bullshit here. Establish a colony. Alright, I have no idea what that does. I guess we're gonna have to find out at some point. Uh, let's go to speed 5, just while we're waiting on this siege. There's not much more we need to look at, really. 42%, come on, fall. And the siege modifier goes from 0 to 16. I, I agree with that change. I think that's a good thing. And immediately we're at 16, 78% chance to win. Oh, hello. Okay, so Siege of Tabir is over. Right, need, what's this? The Sack of Tabur. After a hard and long siege, our men were able to conquer Tabur. The local population was captured and everyone who tried to fight back was executed. The men now wait for the orders to begin plundering, or is there anything else we should do with the city? Plunder everything, enslave everyone. Lose uh, upper class and a commoner class, but we get 10,000 slaves. Plunder only the valuable goods, get money, lose military, or just gain prestige. Well, I have no fucking clue what slaves do. Uh, is there a modifier for slaves somewhere? It's government organization now. Uh, where would I see slaves? Uh, they, maybe I'll have to look into the census. Maybe we'll do that after we've stolen all of your people. Alright, so we will peace you out after we grab this guy back. Also, don't need to be on speed 5 anymore. This is mine. 20 ducats. All of the shit. Yep, send a band. Roman Latin border war. I lost more men. I gained your province and you no longer exist, so I think that is in my favor. 23 to core it. Uh, is that the same price as usual? Base cost per population is 6. Okay, okay. Let's see where that goes. And I will have you drill. I think you're going to be next. But I think I might need to bring in my allies to fight you. And none of my allies will or would be willing. You're only allied with Marcy, so I could attack you. Sabini instead, and Peglini would come in. If I take this province real quick, if I get there first, 
it's not gonna matter, right? It's a it's an option. It is an option. Tarchuna has announced me as their rival, okay. Um I'm thinking Marcy is gonna be our next rival. Right. We're currently making that core. Buildings have also changed. Also, look how many building slots we have. That's unlocked at 12. Or that is because we are at 12. I don't know. But, shit ton of buildings. I just can't afford any right now. Um, but I believe there are some missions to build shit. Road to Ostia. Ostia and Roma have roads. These two here. Embrace the workshops. Have a craftsman and a training camp in Rome. Latin War. Have core on Tibur. We're gonna get this. I get a permanent claim on the Latium area. Uh, so I'll get a permanent claim on here, 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 and here. That's gonna come in handy. Who are you allied with? I, I see me. Okay, so there are people up here that I don't care about. Maybe you're gonna be my next target, but we're gonna wait until this cores first, because I really like the permanent claims. Uh, so we make 133 a month. Are these cheaper than usual? Oh yeah, they're like half price, or at least you're half price. Plus you reduce advisor costs even further. Yes, that's a good idea. And here... Mm, no half price guys here. Half price guy? Anywhere? No, no, no. And if we have a look again at our estates, pontifices, what do you do? Appoint a court priest. I get a skill one national unrest missionary strength guy, 50% cheaper. Mm, yeah, yeah, let's let's do that. I would like I would like the priest man. Wait, are you in here? Yes, you are. Fuck, that was that was a silly idea. That was dumb. Give political office, lose five government organization, and you gain loyalty and influence. I have no government organizations, or, or do I? Is that That's my max. Yeah, I currently have none. So, here, have five, and we still have none, so there you go. Um, at 62, you give me some more force limit and legitimacy, so that's pretty cool. And then here, if we're above 60, we get... Unrest, lower, foreign spy detection, tolerance to true faith. Okay. And there's more than just these two. We just don't own any provinces that have them. Our architectural style has become quite popular in the region. Many other people copy the style of how we build our temples and palaces. Support it, construction cost, construction time, prestige for 10 ducats, or lose prestige. You know what? 15 prestige. Uh, yeah, thank you. That do anything different to normal? I don't think so. It might, but I'm not sure. Also, we can syncretize with a religion. I might do that with Olympoi? Is that what it's called? Olymp Olympioi? Because there's a lot of Olympioi over here. I don't know. I'm not sure. Gift for our neighbors. Why should we fight our neighbors if we can make them our friends? We shouldn't think of them as our rivals and begin... Begin to improve our relations with them. The council suggests to send them a tamed animal, but they aren't sure yet what animal we should send them as a gift. If we don't begin to improve our relations to our neighbors, other people might think we are arrogant and stubborn. Lose very little ducats, and we get more trust between us. Yeah, I mean, uh, less than a ducat, sure. That's totally fine. Um, I'm thinking Sabini you can definitely start getting fabricated on. Right, build spy network. Thank you very much. If I'm going to be having to uh, fight you to take Marcy on, build only one of one. Uh, and here is a completely different region that we don't we don't really have a core on any of it, so that's irrelevant. But yeah, um, maybe I'll take the Citizen Cav now, or do I wait until I get all of this? Let's take it now. Let's take it now. Better off having it sooner so it can 
you know, regrow itself, and then we can use it against, you know, enemy peoples, uh, rather than, you know, waiting. So we're at the 20-minute mark. With this being the first episode in a new series, I will be letting this go until, um, uh, until 30 minutes. So, yeah, enjoy. Uh, in Rome, we've got 119 ducats. Is that enough to build a road? We do have enough for a road. I think we should go for the road. And then save up and build another road in Ostia. For that mission. Uh, road to Ostia. Yeah, Rome have roads. And I will get two mercantilism and a commoner in Ostia. I feel like that's a good idea. Citizen cab, what do you need again? Roma and Ostia. Roma gives me 1.25, Ostia 0.5. So, is it the commoner population? Commoner population represents merchants, craftsmen, and other citizens, like Citizen Cav. The population grows over time, the small chance of the tribal pops get promoted to commoner pops. It's increased by prosperity, markets, and production buildings. Okay. Um. Upper class pop represents the aristocrats, clergy, and wealthy citizens. Population grows over time. Alright, and then tribals represents rural population. Okay. Road. Oh, wait, no, we got this one. And we get permanent claim on the Latium area. Very, very nice. Exactly what we wanted. Right, you can stop drilling. What is our drill right now? 1.7%. Fantastic. Um, so you take 111, we're at take 111 as well. Hills again, but we do have that sick as fuck general. Probably worthwhile. You, Sabini, you'll show in here under rivals, right? No, we didn't rival Sabini. Uh, fine, let's have a look. Where are we? We've got like, what, 6,000? So, Rome, there we are. Sabini has also got 6,000, but they've got way more manpower. I don't know how the fuck they've got that. I suppose they do have four provinces. We would need friends. That's, that's what I'm thinking. How about we get a claim? Wait. How do we, how do we claim a province? Uh-huh. Apparently we can't fabricate claims, so we've only got the option of border conquest. Okay, that's interesting. It's a very different way of doing things. Right, so if I called in Piglini... Pel Peligni, sorry. That brings a war with Sabini and Marcy. If we went to war with just Marcy... We've got the conquest CB, but we'd have to fight these guys who have more manpower who have, um, they're just, they're just good. More manpower, equal army. Or I could attack the Volci. I'd be at war with the Vestini, the Brutii, and the Piscini. But, they're all fucking miles away. I mean, they would definitely gain access. That's, that's not a, no doubt about that. Hmm. What if I got up here? You're allied with these guys. You're allied with these guys. I think the best option is attacking him, bringing you in as a promise of land, and possibly not giving you jack shit. I think that's a good idea. All right. Pull you in, uh, and it's going to be the conquest of Amiternum. Because I want Amiternum. Or do I? I mean, yes, I do. Definitely, I do. But can I... I can afford to give you a province. I can afford to give you Amaternum. Yeah, that's fine then. So I'm going to say that I want these three and all of this shit. And you don't desire any of it, actually. But, well, I mean, you've got the strategic one here. But it's fine. I'm going to give you Amaternum. I want to conquer Riat. And I'm going to call you in. Promise of land. Marcy will be a co-belligerent. Yeah. Uh, roll the dice. Also, you have 
No, we're not at war with you. We're at war with landlocked countries. Right. I'm going to go to the fertile highlands of Amiternum. You're going to come with me. Holy shit. What? Where did they get this army? What the fuck? Sabini somehow now has 15,000 men. I... What? How? How did they get that much men? That's... That's... Solidly fucked up. Alright, but you're going to attack him in the highlands. I need to help out. We need... Oh, fuck, pause, pause, pause. Slaves on our building site in Rome are unhappy with their treatment. If we don't do anything, we might risk a slave uprising. Okay, so... This is the roads that we're building. Seven slaves in Roma. Roma is where Marcy is currently standing. Fuck yes. Fight. Oh, they actually sieged it as well. But you've got an... Oh, wow. This is a little fucked up. They've got a negative one penalty. Uh, and we actually beat them. Are you retreating to here, perhaps? I don't know where they retreated to. Right, I'm gonna go and kill these slaves. Or hopefully. And I'm gonna siege back Rome. It sucks that they took it. I thought they were just gonna rise up. It wasn't gonna be any problems, but yeah. Guess I got unlucky. Um, we're gonna say you can attach, because I wanna see exactly how large my army is. And I don't know what the fuck happened, but why, why they had so many men is beyond me. They now only have a thousand, though. So... Yeah, I mean, that kind of went well then, didn't it? Just siege back Rome. That is, that's priority number one. You know what? You know what's fucking hilarious? Um, I've named this series Roma Invicta, which translates to uh, Rome Unconquered. I think Rome just got conquered by the slaves in the first fucking episode. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so you've now got like 5k. You've got nothing, which is fine. I am losing money, but pretty slowly, and as soon as I get Rome back, that's going to give me more money. A little bit of devastation. Going to go away. Yeah, they, they're, they're able to just, you know, pump out the men. Um, if I look at your manpower, it didn't even go down. I don't know how they're getting these men. There must be some mechanic that I am unaware of. Now, going after Turnum. That's fine. All right, Rome, Rome is sieged. We could go after his land, or we could not. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the second option. You just got stack wiped. Right, so you're going to Corfinum. If I attack you in Corfinum, oh, apparently I missed. Well, I guess I'll go and attack you in Rome then. Jesus, this guy's fast. Five maneuver, that's why. Wait until you're locked, and then we'll go and attack you here. I don't want to attack you in the hills, but we do outnumber you two to one. Fuck him. Fuck him. We don't need to. We don't need to. I'm going to split off. Oh, now you're purple. You were green before. I'm going to split off the first and the second cohort of Roma. These guys are going to go to Marivium. You're going to be the ones to attach to. This is, this is dumb. This is dumb. I feel like you're running over here, so I'm going to go over there as well and stack white you. Yes, please, please, please. Oh wow, they actually did not get stack wiped. I don't know where they went though. It said they weren't stack wiped, but apparently they were. Like I said, I don't know how this game works yet. I'm learning. But we're going to win this war and then we are going to uh, end the episode. I'm, I'm going to end the episode on a high. People in Rome get more and more corrupt. This corruption can be found in every part of our society. Indeed, that is not good. I, I am agreeing with that. I need four dudes to siege it. I've got four dudes here. You're going to just sit in Rome and, um, you know, provide moral support across the border. That, that seems fine to me.
Uh, criminal noble. We found out the son of an influential noble is a criminal. Different people report about murder and thieving. He needs to be punished in order to keep order in our realm. Kill him, lose loyalty in the patriarchs, or lose five legitimacy. I'm okay with losing a little bit of legitimacy. That's, that's not something that worries me. We're actually gaining uh, 0.13 ducats a month, which is not bad. Not bad at all. I'm okay with that. You have no siege. I've got one, but I'm, I'm busy, so... Hmm. Do I want to take away Rome's first soldiers and the first cohort of Ostia and replace them with these two? I think yes. I definitely, definitely think yes. Drop you, root you. I don't know how it works, but I feel like having regular soldiers here is, is a better choice. You know, like infantry. It's better for sieging than cavalry and um, slingers. Uh, Sabini, no, you're not having peace. We're going to completely murder you. Ooh, we can invite a scholar. That's in here, right? Morale of armies plus 5%. I don't know why this is something I can do. Any own province, is, the following is true. Celtic, An Ansu Trewo, Iberian, Baltic, Slavic. Neighboring country, Rome, is Northern Rights. Any country, opinion of Rome. All right. I f yeah, I have no idea. Maybe we're friendly with somebody who has Northern Rights, and I'm not sure how it works. All right, that's been sieged, and you've passed it over to me. City in Latium. After the Latin Wars and the subjugation of the Latins by Rome, the Romans enacted a law which forced Latin merchants to trade in Rome. This, and the fact that Rome was already the biggest settlement in Latium, led the city to soon become a regional center of trade. Nice. Small center of trade, local trade power plus 10, possible number of buildings plus 1. Great indeed, I like it. I like it. Very flavorful. Uh, we could also invest in technology and get ahead of the competition. I like it. We can now build a shrine. Right, so we've got idea groups unlocked. What do we have here? Merc ideas, engineering, scholars, economic, domestic government. Imperial government, influence, espionage, superior religion, syncretic religion, maritime ex expansion. Um, you need a dude. Stop, stop helping me. Go help these guys. Thank you. Um, da -da 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 -da. Right. go in here again. Um, syncretic religion, maritime expansion, infantry, cavalry, quality, quantity, offensive, defensive. Oh shit, we have a scroll bar. Uh, only goes down one. Admin, trade, and naval. I'm going to look through these uh, during the break, um, just to see which one I think looks good. Um, and I guess I'll choose in the you know start of next episode. Uh, but for now, we are going to piece this guy out and take everything. No. Nothing here. Do I give him this? You know what I am. I'm going to give him that just because I want to keep him as an ally for now. He's useful. Take your money. We're going to piece out. And we're going to end this episode here. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. Again, with it being the first episode in a brand new series, likes and comments are very much appreciated and useful. So thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Roma Invicta.